Any man who's had a previous diagnosis of cancer and has had cancer treatment is at risk of subsequent infertility. And that's why at the time of cancer diagnosis we recommend that all men are given the opportunity to bank their sperm as an insurance policy in case they need to use it at a later date. Actually the evidence is that many men are completely fertile after cancer treatment. The problem that we have at the point of diagnosis is we can't tell who they, those men are and work out which of those men who will definitely be subfertile after their cancer treatment. And often cancer treatments need to be repeated, you may not respond to the first course of chemotherapy and you may need another one that is uh, more damaging to your fertility. So banking sperm at the very beginning is a very important thing to do. Now if you've gone through the experience of having cancer and you now want to start a family, there are a couple of things to think about. First of all, how long is it since your cancer treatment? And if it's more than one year since your last chemotherapy or radiotherapy treatment, then it is perfectly safe to start trying for a baby the good old fashioned way, quite naturally, and see what happens. You may wish to go and have a sperm test performed before you start to give you reassurance that you have sperm and that if you don't have sperm, that would then give you the option to seek an infertility treatment such as IVF using your banked sperm. Many cancer patients will conceive quite naturally following cancer treatment. But if that doesn't happen, then really the route to becoming a parent is exactly the same as the route that's followed by every other subfertile couple in the country. And that is go to your GP, have the basic test done, and then get a referral to a fertility specialist who can decide which treatment is the most appropriate for you. If you want to talk about this or you want some support then there are organisations out there that can help. So for example Cancer Research UK have a huge a range of resources on their website that will help you through this issue. But also if you're of a younger age, the Teenage Cancer Trust is another organisation that produces some excellent resources that will help point you in the right direction or give you some basic information that maybe you've helped. The major port of call, however, would be your GP, an onward referral to a fertility specialist who can then, with the test results that will be made with you and your partner, give you the best options that are available for you.